Hello crafters, welcome to the 15th video of my how to build a Sorbit computer series. In this video I will be continuing with the program memory and uh, I will give an explanation of what program memory is because I realised I neglected to do so last video. Basically program memory is the um, what uh, the programmer or the builder codes. Each, each um, Obviously each of these lines goes to a different function in the computer and line, horizontal lines will go across this like so and there will be lots and lots of lines of these like that. On each of these lines you can place torches and on each torch, on each, uh, each of these lines this is like one, one line of code and whichever command you want to run on that, uh, on that line of code you place a torch above it and then every clock cycle, so maybe every 20 ticks or so um, the computer then runs onto the next onto the next, uh, onto the next line of code and whatever torch you have placed on that line oops, like that, will be run so that's basically how that works and conditional branching, which is something I don't have on here is something which allows you to skip, say, to this one this line of uh, code and then move, say all the way over here to one, imagine one here, and then back again, um, depending on different conditions. So say if your two inputs were equal, jump to line 10, but if they're not, jump to line 5, or something like that. So that is basically what program memory is, it's, yeah, so that's it. In this video I will be, uh, I'm going to start with by finishing off the frame of the program memory. It looks very similar to the seven segment display decoder and it is pretty much it, uh, it is set out exactly like this except um, it won't have those uh, these iris not yeah, these iris not latches. I use a binary counter and a decimal uh, decoder to, which will uh, allow us to um, think of what do you call it um, cycle, that's the word, cycle through the different commands. Okay then, so this is how I'm going to lay this out. Lots of patterns. Do. Just bear with me. Oh, the shakiness. It's so bad. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to continue using Bandicam. It's just... No words can describe how laggy I think this is. I mean, this is pretty pretty good compared to what I have seen on YouTube, but it's like I'm running at 15 frames per second, not 96. Stupid. If anyone's got a fix for this to make Bandicam less laggy, I'm not even using a, the OpenGL recording mode, if you know what that is, if anyone uses Bandicam. I'm using the box, because the OpenGL doesn't seem to work with Minecraft for me. I know that's a known bug and they haven't fixed it, but it's very annoying. I might go, I'm not sure how to rest. Okay. Now get your, oh, I've already used white, so I'm going to use white again. Looks nice with white in it. I think this looks coolest. This is purely for design. There's no purpose whatsoever. There we go. Looking sexy. Hmm. Now to add a redstone to all this. I might end up adding an, another four commands here called go to commands. But it, I just don't know if it, want, if it wants to be a, that complex to have go to commands. Or, hmm. I will be able to add them on if necessary. Okay. Now just redstone these. Redstoneify. And don't bother someone telling me that's not a word. I don't really care. 
Someone had an argument with me on a YouTube comment the other day that redstoners is not a word. I mean, who actually cares enough to argue if the word redstoners is actually a word? And then another guy. Uh, what did he do? Oh yeah, another guy started dissing FV Disco's texture pack. The one I'm using at the moment. OCD, I mean. Jesus Christ. Ah oh, well, you might have seen that on my newsfeed if it came up. Okay, stack that 19 times. And there we go. Program memory frame done like a boss. Oh, damn, forgot the redstone. Gonna have to redo this, sorry. There we go. That's looking good. Whoops. Uh, I'll just put it back onto fast so you can see what it looks like. Look at that. So professional. <laughs> um, next thing we need to do is add repeaters on the horizontal and the vertical lines. Okay, let's test how far is reach. Make sure it's directly underneath the block. Has a torch rank over there. It generally is, well, it always is, like this. Okay, then that reaches. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that will work. Never mind. This time, make sure you just select the redstone layer, don't select the one underneath it. Otherwise, we'll have to go, you'll have to go through and do all the color changing again. Stack 23. There we go, repeaters on all of them. No! No! Hmm, that reminded me of Rage Comics. Anyway, that is beside the point. Uh, hmm, procrastinating, procrastinating. <laughs> I just don't want to do this redstone. Hmm, okay then. Time to test this. You can only place torches on the white wall, uh, re repeats on the white wall. Don't place them on the coloured wall, because that's where the torches go. Okay, that reaches. Oops, I don't know if I selected that right. Yeah, I did. Probably should have done this all in one go, shouldn't I? Oh well. Stack 20, no, 19 this way. I was so close to ruining all of my stuff down there. <laughs> I don't know why I've got a massive block of grass just there. I uh, can't remember doing that, but anyhow. So that's the program memory frame done. Looking pretty cool, to be honest. Okay, um, oh yeah, that's why, um, on the IDF you cannot use, um, fill redstone or set redstone in your commands, because it's just too much of a risk of griefers just selecting a whole plot and just pressing set redstone, then destroying that plot and then crashing the server at the same time. So, busting takes a lot longer on the IDF than it does on here. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm going to look for, but if it does, it'll be awesome. Lag incoming, so yeah. Set redstone. Woo, that worked. Time to uh, just fill in the gaps. Totally worth it. Repeat the nine bit because you can't obviously stack them. Um, okay. Redstone on these. In this video, I'm going to aim. 
to finish all of the busing that we'll ever need to do in this computer. And I personally think that's a pretty cool landmark. No more busing. Until next series. <laughs> well, I suppose there'll be no busing for the survival series. Probably no redstone whatsoever. Oof, imagine that. No redstone. So, did you know I might have scraped my mic there. Uh, damn it. That repeater is going to affect that block. Okay, this, uh, this here needs to be dropped down one like so. Hmm, I'm actually pretty glad I did that redstone on the orange bit. It saved me quite a lot of time, to be honest. Did I do it on the green as well? Well then. I fancy that. Is that everything? Oh no. I missed some over here. Okay, now we need to uh, just add repeat, add a torch to all of these and then check the distances. The way I'm going to do this is another world edit command. To only stack and, f and set are the only, and replace are the only really useful commands, I think. Oh, and move, I use move quite a bit. For those far, I don't really use any others, to be honest. Stack 23. There you go. Let's just start at the end and work through. That reaches. That reaches. You probably understand what I mean now by the timings, which I said in the previous videos. Like this one, if it's only one tick of delay between that repeater and this repeater but whereas on this pink one there are two that's the kind of thing which you need to watch out for in uh, if you're making a quick computer uh, so close it's so far away I know all these will reach just from sight Okay, it's going to be quite a weird thing that's going to come through the <laughs> ALU, probably. And when something like this happens, when it's just one off, add a block. Block, block. Oh, yeah, all of them are on because I think I've inverted every single one. And that's nearly everything. Um, the easiest way to do this will just be um, I'll just do the same there and add another one up here. Okay then. That is very nice. Let me just uh, get rid of these pesky torches. I did actually go and rewatch. I don't normally watch my videos until I upload them, so it's a bit stupid to be honest, but yeah. Uh, set zero. Wow, lag. Anyway, but yeah, I don't usually um, watch my videos once I've recorded them. I usually render them, upload them, and then if they're really bad, which never have been really, really bad. I know some of them were pretty bad, but not really bad. But yeah. Um, I'll take them down. 
but I did when I so say yeah, I went and watched one of them which we could with Bandicam and the audio sounded a lot better in Bandicam than it did with Fraps that's just my personal experience I don't know if it's known better for anyone else but uh, my voice did not sound half as uh, what do you call it crackly or like in my uh, other videos my S's were like elongated and it's going like s like that and Chinese that just sounded naff uh, but I don't seem to get that with Bandicam um, so yeah that's just my personal preference um, I think that's the program memory done I said it would take four videos it's only taken two um, but we have yet to do the counter and the decoder and the clock so that's nearly finished to be honest there's not that much more to do on this computer um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe